there's thousands of fitness coaches out there who are already teaching guys, you know, how to lose fat, how to get more aesthetic, blah, 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 whatever. But not everyone is in great shape, right? We actually have a huge epidemic of this in America of, I think like 40% of people are obese, which is just insane to think about. But the point I'm trying to make is there's so many guys out here teaching how to get in shape, how to lose weight, all this shit, but they never teach the things that actually matter which is beliefs. That's what I'm gonna be going over in this video is talking about the beliefs because beliefs dictate your reality. And if you're gonna sit here telling people things they already know, oh, eat in a calorie deficit or lift weights and you'll get stronger, you'll get aesthetic, whatever it is, everybody already knows this and there's already thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of guys teaching these things, but not everyone's in great shape, right? It's because they don't believe that they can. And I'm gonna break this down in the aesthetic essentialism approach. And basically, I wrote down here a couple of things I wanna talk about, but basically, if you change your beliefs, you can change your reality. And I know that sounds kind of woo-woo, whatever, but your beliefs are essentially the set of systems you have in your body which cause thoughts to take place. So let's say you believe you're a fat man. Now you're gonna have thoughts saying, Oh, I'm fat, so I eat, you know, lays or whatever the fuck, but I'm fat. That's what you believe. You believe you can't change. So you're gonna, without even thinking of it, on a subconscious level, you're gonna cheat on your diet because you view yourself as a fat man. Now that's gonna, so your beliefs cause these thoughts and those thoughts, right? The thoughts of you saying, yeah, I'm fat, whatever, I'll cheat on my diet, whatever it is, that dictates your reality. So now you actually are a fat man who's cheating on his diet. So. Therefore, if you can change your beliefs, you can change your reality. Now, how do you change your beliefs? Well, self-image is key, okay? Self-image is key for this. So, like I was saying, if you see yourself as a fat man, or another example, if you see yourself as a binge eater, as someone who binges on their diet all the time, or someone who can't stick to their diet, then when you set a diet you wanna stick to, you're not going to stick to it or you're sticking to your diet, but you see yourself as a binge eater, then you're going to binge eat because that's how you view yourself. These beliefs are gonna cause these thoughts to come in and you're gonna act on them to reinforce that belief of you, yes, you are in fact a binge eater. So the fat man never gets ripped until he starts seeing himself as the guy who gets ripped because if, if the fat man sees himself as a fat man, he's going to cheat on his diet because that's what a fat man does. Instead, he needs to see himself as someone who's losing weight and getting in shape, someone who is in shape, someone who's working hard to get in shape. Because if he sees himself as that, then he will be making the right decisions of someone who is getting in shape, right? Because if he sees himself as who, someone who's losing weight, then he won't cheat on his diet. He will act as the person who is losing weight. So he will be eating in the caloric deficit. And it's as simple as that. But no one teaches these things. Everyone just says eat in a caloric deficit. They don't tell you how to actually stick to a diet. And the key to this is changing your self image and you know, having these beliefs that serve you. Why would you believe that you're someone who can't stick to a diet? Why would you believe that? Instead, believe you're someone who's working on getting to that aesthetic body, someone who's working on getting that six pack and is on the path to getting it. Because if you see yourself as someone who's on the path to getting it, then you will be that person. You will you know, have these thoughts that reinforce that you're that person so you won't cheat on your diet that's the point i'm trying to make you will be consistent in the gym and it, it works the other way too right the guy who is in decent shape and he starts seeing results and he's staring at his muscles in the mirror flexing in the gym and he's like damn i got big muscles that's the guy who's going to be going harder in the gym because now he sees himself as someone who lifts someone who has these big muscles someone who's in shape so if he sees himself as someone who's in shape, guess what? He's going to be doing what the person who's already in shape does, which is going to the fucking gym and working out. So that's the point I'm trying to make. Self-image is key. Believing in yourself is key. Your beliefs create your thoughts, which create your reality. Therefore, if you can change your beliefs, you can change your reality. So you need to only be holding beliefs that serve you. I believe that I will get that aesthetic body. I will get that six pack. I believe I can stick to a diet. I believe I can find a diet plan that is so simple and so easy to follow that it doesn't even put any stress on me. I believe I am the person who loses weight. I believe I am the person who will be ripped. I believe I am the person who can get the girl. Because if you believe you're not, 
if you believe I'm the guy who's always struggled with getting girls or I'm the guy who's been skinny fat his whole life, then that's going to become your reality. You will never get the girl. You will never get in shape. So structure your beliefs in a way that serve you. Believe you can do it and you will. You will have these thoughts that serve your beliefs and reinforce them and that will create your reality. So hold these beliefs and remember that your beliefs create your thoughts. Your thoughts create your reality. So stop telling yourself you can't do it. Stop telling yourself you're fat. Stop telling yourself you're too skinny or you have bad genetics because then those things will become your reality. Instead, tell yourself that you can do it, that you are getting in aesthetic shape, that you can get that six pack, that you don't cheat on your diet. Reinforce yourself to hold these beliefs that serve you. Structure your mind in a way where you have where you, do, you don't believe in anything that makes you weak because why would you? Even if you're deluding yourself, why would you believe that it's going to take you five years to get in shape? Or why would you believe that you can't do it? Why would you believe that you have a bad metabolism and you're never going to be able to get in shape? Why would you believe you have bad genetics and you're never going to be able to get in shape? Why would you believe that just making you weaker? And I understand where you're at. I understand it's hard and it's difficult when you're starting out and you don't know what to do. But start by by viewing yourself as someone who can do it and will do it because you will and you can. That's it for this video. I have nothing else to say. Remember these key points, okay? Your beliefs dictate your thoughts, which dictate your reality. So you need to hold yourself in your mind as someone who can do anything. Don't hold any weak beliefs about yourself. Only believe in things that empower you and make you stronger. And that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about aesthetic essentialism or beliefs or you want to talk to me personally, you can join my free school community. It's going to be linked below. Take care, guys, and peace.